I would like to welcome you to Gerson's YouTube channel. Yes, it features content from the mobile game WWE Champions. So for that, he has my support. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Hello champions, we're gonna have a look at Kofi Kingston Technician. It is Kofi against all odds, or Kofi Mania if you prefer. He's a technician as I said, we're gonna have a look at him at 4 star silver. As usual, this character is only lent to me by Scopely, and I'm not gonna get to keep him, they take it away after I'm done with the preview. So. First, we're going to have a look at his card. So, trainer bonus at 9,000. Red moves deal 20% more damage and black move deal 30% more damage. Currently, he has link with the New Day and Modern Era and no gear. Now, what I'll do is we're actually going to have a look at all the moves right off the start because sometimes... Like I do this as I try stuff and eventually when I'm out of ID, I stop. And sometimes it ends up that some moves were not used and I forget to show you guys those moves. So we're gonna show all the moves right away and then we'll go with the regular move sets. So first move, green is a 10 MP move. Trouble in Paradise, finisher deal 30.6K damage and choose a two by five area to destroy. The boom drop is a 7 MP blue move, deal 16.2k damage and choose 4 greens to destroy. The Hurricane, Hurricane Rana is a 1 MP purple awesome move, deal 2k damage and make 1 random gem into green gem. The SOS is an 8 MP green move, deal 18.7k damage plus 1800 bonus damage for every green gem. The Russian Leg Sweep is a 3 MP blue move, deal 5.4k 5 5 damage and increase your green gem damage by 125% for 4 turns. And the Leaping Elbow Drop is a 1 MP purple move, it deals 2800 damage and steal up to 2 MP from each of your opponent's green move. That's awesome also. <laughs> Basically the technician version of six against uh, green users. All right, let's cut this and let's have a look at some move sets. All right, we're gonna have our first spec here, which I'm gonna do later on a different variation. First, let's have a look. It's gonna be the Trouble in Paradise. 10 MP green move finisher deals 30.6K damage and choose a two x five area to destroy. The SOS 8 MP green move deals 18.7K damage plus 1800 bonus for every green gems. And the Leaping Elbow Drop, which is a one MP purple move that deal 2.8K damage and steal up to two MP from each of your opponent green move. Now this obviously is gonna be a spec that you would use again green users guys like next big thing or uh, Brock Lesnar NBT basically the big green damage guy ideally if they have two uh, two green move that's much better now the trainers I'm going to be using for this is George Steele to get going to uh, to uh, unleash the, those green moves right off the bat and also gold dust reason i'm using gold dust is that he boosts by 45 percent green damage move and those are sizable damage for these guys i could pick a guy like slick rick so that my two by five uh destroyed is going to do more damage with those gems but i'm actually getting more using gold dust uh obviously you could play with different trainers this is not the kind of spec that is really that is really dependent on trainers so let's have a look i picked up daniel bryan as an opponent because he has a yellow and two green moves equipped so that's the proper guy to run this test and we're the same talent as well so that helps right so we're gonna use this to steal four MP from him, two from each greens. 
that mean I get access right away to this move. All it does is damage. It doesn't do anything else than that. It's basically bonus damage from green gems as well. Unfortunately, there's not that many of those. I'm gonna use that. And now I don't really have much else to do on the board, so I'll go for damage with the purples since it's my secondary color. Finisher is ready. Obviously, I'm going to use this one. Can't use a finisher first because obviously that would end my turn. So let's get those greens for the next turn. And now we're going to use the finish. Got a pretty good area right there with two greens and a bunch of purples for more damage. And blue, which also does quite a lot of damage. Actually, blue does more damage than purple for me. Right, so now I got my move ready. So I'm gonna use my move before I use my purple, obviously, because I'm gonna reload some green after that. So may as well use the move first and start loading up on that green. Now here, I can't do much right now. So, oh, I actually should have taken away his uh, yellow. We got a nice cascade out of this though. Okay, we're gonna get some more green. We go not enough to refill my second move because he was running out of green himself. So let's just use that finish. Now again, there's no area where I could get two more than two greens. So I guess we'll go for here for that blue and purple damage as well. Oh, that was a lot of green. <laughs> yeah, that might be it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that was close. And that went pretty well. Let's try. Uh, let's try something else while uh, keeping this uh, green stealing spec. That's okay, because it's all led to this moment. It's all led to this. All right, we're going to try a different version of the green stealing. This time it's going to be the Trouble in Paradise 10 MP green. Finisher deals 30k damage and choose 2x5 to destroy. The Hurricane Rana 1 MP purple deals 2k damage and make one random gem into green. And the Leaping Elbow Drop, which is at 1 MP Purple again, deal 2.8k damage and steal up to 2 MP from each of your opponent green move. Trainers I'll be using for that is Rezzer, so that, that Hurricane Rana is going to make 5 random greens every freaking turn. And uh, I also have Stardust here, which you could also take Slick Rick. Uh, Stardust, what he does is that it's 35% more damage to green gems. With the Urken Rana, there's gonna be a lot of green matching. And also I'll try to target some greens when I do the finisher. So with Slick Rick, it would be 20% uh, for all that all gems. So it's probably a little under what we'll be getting out of uh go uh, Stardust, but definitely an option as well. I believe it's is it Booker T that is also I think it might be Booker T also that is 35% more green damage when I'm not a, like I'm 95% sure. So let's uh, let's have a look if this works out. I haven't actually tested this. So this is gonna be my test. And this is still against uh, Daniel Bryan. Oh, let me forgot to put the sound. Sorry guys. The sound doesn't work, so we're gonna have to restart after this. All right, so let's start by stealing green. Let's make green on the board. Also, by generating green, what I don't take, he's gonna take on his turn, and I'm gonna steal. <laughs> And you're always better off to use 
the MP still move first, even if the other one is one MP, just in case that by generating those green, you would end up causing a cascade. You wanna make sure that you stole the green first. Let's make more green. By having more green also, it's not just that I'm getting more damage, is that it's it, it's just gonna do more overall. There you go. Ooh. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm allergic to cascades. Okay. That's still the green. Let's generate green and hope for a match. No match. We'll make one here. We'll steal the green. I don't need the green, but we'll steal it just so he doesn't have it for his turn. Let's make some. And destroy the two by five, which I'm obviously gonna pick with a green area. Uh, like this area. Purple and red is going to do more than black and yellow. Okay, let's steal the green. Make some green, hopefully get a match. No match again, we're definitely not too lucky. This is gonna match two. Oh, I thought, uh, yeah, I thought it was gonna match the one on top, but apparently not. All right, let's get out of that. Let's remove him some green. It's pretty nice to create five greens every turn. And look at that, I can do both moves yet again. Because I got a purple out of that. Didn't get to use the finisher because we got an early pin, but that doesn't really matter. Let's take his green again. He's never going to get to use any of those green. Let's make green. And the finish. Obviously gonna pick the area with five green. And it's over. That worked out pretty well as well. All right, now let's have a look at a moveset that does not evolve stealing green. All right, let's have a look at a different spec. It's gonna be using some of the moves we already saw, which is the Trouble in Paradise 10 green MP move. Finisher deals 30.6K damage and choose a two x five area to destroy. 
The SOS 8 MP green move deals 18.7k damage plus 80, 1800 bonus damage for every green gem. And the Hurricane Rana, which is 1 MP purple move, deals 2k damage and make 1 random gem into green gem. Trainers that'll be used, Rezzer, so that that Hurricane Rana makes 5 green every single turn, and Steel to get those 2 green moves ready so obviously all those green generated by the Urican Rana should definitely help with that SOS move that does damage based on the amount of green gems on the board. So let's see in action. This time we're going to go against uh, Kevin Nash. I thought I didn't start recording. <laughs> All right, so let's generate more green. Okay, let's take this one. We're going to have a boat move ready, or actually all three moves ready. Obviously, you're going to want to use this one first because the second one is going to do more damage based on more greens on the board. All right, let's use it. And now we're going to use the finisher. And we'll get four of those back. Actually, let's take those four because there's more blue, so that's more damage. Okay, let's get more green again. Probably should have gone for that free purple turn first. All right, make more green. Damage based on the amount of green. And now we're going to use the finisher. All right, this as five, this as five as well, but two blue for extra damage. And we got a little purple cascade as a bonus. Okay, let's make more green. We need a match. We got two. We'll be able to finish him off. All right, damage based on green. Probably didn't even need that move. Let's just go for overkill. <laughs> well, probably would have done more with the finisher. <laughs> It was a win either way. All right, so that worked pretty damn good. All right, everything worked so far. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's have a look with a completely different spec. This time using the blue moves. I'm gonna do what everybody has wanted to see me do. All right, completely different spec. This time it's going to be the Trouble in Paradise. Finisher deal 30.6k damage and choose a 2x5 area to destroy. The Boom Drop 7 MP Blue move deals 16.2k damage and choose 4 greens to destroy. Russian Leg Sweep 3 MP Blue move deal 5.4k damage and increase your green gem damage by 125% for 4 turns. <coughs> Jeez, sorry guys. 125% for four turns. Trainers are going to be Lawler to get that boom drop ready as soon as possible, along with Cesaro to make that choose nine greens to destroy, should there be nine on the board. 
I got Andre here to help out with the blues. All right. Let's go. Oh, sorry about that. I was not already in a battle. I think it's San Francisco for Nash. Yeah. All right. Let's go against Nash again. So I will have that for four turns anyway, so I may as well use it now and start to recovering it, because anyway, it's a three charge move. So I have it for four turns. It's going to be reloaded before it expires. May as well run it every time it's ready. Okay. And we're going to run it again. Choose nine green to destroy one two three four five six seven eight there's not a ninth they do 14k each along with this nice cascade that just uh, did 176 he can kick out for now though right Let's just do it again because it's always ready and it's a little 5k damage. Now we're going to run the finish. And we're going to pick some blues on the way. Actually, I don't need to pull that many. Blue. Ah, what the hell? Let's take it. We don't have a lot of green on the board, unfortunately. We're going to destroy those greens. Not more. Get those blues. run that again i don't have blue or green anywhere i'm gonna get it by him on the next turn i would need to look for a cascade right now which i don't really see anywhere oh that's gonna be enough anyway <laughs> i thought it wouldn't be enough well that worked pretty well Right. Okay. Let's go see if we can uh, figure out the variation of this or not. I don't complain about anything around here, man. I don't complain about the fact that I show up here in this ring week in, week out, and bust my ass! All right, let's have a look at another spec, which is going to be his basic spec. We're going to have the Trouble in Paradise 10 MP green move finisher deals 30.6k damage and choose a 2x5 area to destroy. The Boom Drop 7 MP blue move deals 16.2k damage and choose a 4 green gem to destroy. And the Urican Rana 1 MP purple move deal 2k damage and make one random gem into green gem. Basically, for, if we compare to the previous spec, we're replacing the uh, Russian leg sweep that was increasing the green jam, jam damage by 125 by generating green gems uh, so that we have more to destroy, more from the finisher. The problem I foresee with that, trainers we're going to be using is Rezer and Cesaro. And what I see is that we might have a problem loading up either the finisher or the boom drop blue move because we got nothing feeding the blue 
And as far as a finisher, we're probably going to get there anyway, because generating all those green every turn, it's bound to match some gems and fill up. So I'm not really worried about the finisher. It's more the boom drop. But anyway, if I load the finisher, I can target the blue to try to get it loaded. And starting at the second recycling, we should be good. So let's see in action. I got Andre and I got uh, Triple H to help with that blue and green situation. Should work. Let's see if it works better than using the two blues, though. So for that purpose, I'm going to be using again against uh, uh, Kevin Nash. All right, so let's make those greens. Got a match. Let's go for another match. We're going to have that uh, finisher ready for the next turn. Let's make more again. Now the finisher. The best I can get is two blue out of that, which is not going to help that much. So let's get two blue and one green. Could have gone for more green, but uh, yeah, the more I leave, the more there's a chance they're going to match when I generate some. Well, he's going to get an extra turn or not because he got an early pin. Obviously, don't want to use my greens and my blues that are there. Uh, looks like I'll have to use blues here. All right, let's generate more green. Got two matches, that's an early pin. Let's get out of that. Let's make more green again. Now to finish. That'll give us three blue, but anyway, we would have it on the next turn anyway. Okay, oh crap, he's not done. Might not kick out of that. Or I will. All right. Let's make green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's enough for the finisher. Let's use it. Let's get one green and three blues right here. It's probably going to kick out of that. Or not. All right, so that worked, but I definitely don't like it as much as pretty much all the previous builds. I'm sure this one is really board dependent on if you can find a way to get those blues with the finisher. But uh, yeah, definitely not as consistent as the previous spec. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for Kofi. I think we tried like, what, five different specs there. Pretty much all worked out pretty much every time, except the last one wasn't too found on that one but still a lot of different things you can do and pretty much with all of these you can use different uh, trainers as well so pretty good character overall very good character overall 
definitely fun to play with. So that's it for Kofi. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you like, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia. Ciao. Lord Gerson, I am WWE superstar Lacey Evans, and I am the most classy, confident, and sophisticated lady you have ever laid your eyes on. Now, it has also been brought to my attention that you run a YouTube channel for Gerson's Gaming. And I think that that is awesome, and I just might have to go check it out myself. So remember, Gerson, keep it classy, and try your best not to be a nasty.